GMA investigates how to wipe your cell phone clean before you sell it. It could be packed with important personal information, even if you think you've erased everything. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with much more on how you can protect yourself. Hey, Gio, good morning. Hey, good morning, Dan. We're talking about all of your old photos, your text messages, your emails, maybe even your financial information. If you thought you deleted it, think again. But this morning, we show you how to protect your data as GMA investigates... More and more people are selling their old phones online. It's quick cash to put towards that upgrade. But technology experts now warning consumers to be careful. Most people have no idea how much information is on the phone. To better protect you, a group of forensic analysts at Elysium Digital in Boston set out to do an experiment. We actually went on to eBay and we bought five or six auctions worth of old cell phones. To see how many people don't properly wipe personal data from their phones before reselling. Out of nearly 100 phones? 31 of them had what I consider to be some pretty disturbing personal information. And there's real information that a real crook can do something with. We found social security numbers, bank account numbers, passwords. They warn even simple information, like doctor's appointments in your calendar, can be dangerous in the wrong hands. They call up and say they're from that doctor's office. We haven't received payment for it. We need you to get your credit card number. Elysium tracked down Lacey Benner Dryling, an original owner of one of the phones they bought online. I haven't slept thinking if my phone had been in the wrong hands. Lacey says she sold her old phone to a company that promised to wipe all her personal data. At the time, 120 bucks cash and I bought a new phone with my upgrade. It was a good deal. But when Elysium bought her phone off eBay... 13,000 text messages on it. Wow. Hundreds of email messages. 120 bucks is not worth your entire life. A common mistake when it comes to wiping your phone, putting it back to factory settings. For an iPhone, that's hitting a simple reset button. GMA Investigates wanted to see what that would do, so we reset our producer's old iPhone 3G. There it goes, edit home screen. This looks like a whole new phone. And to be safe, manually deleting any old text messages and emails still on that phone. And now we're gonna see if we can bring it all back. And with a little digging, we find all of her original information still on the phone. 2,838 photos extracted. While Elysium uses Celebrite, a state-of-the-art device and special software to extract data, anyone can download one of several programs that retrieves data for free. So how do you protect yourself? Well, each phone is different. But typically what you'll do is you'll go into the settings and you'll erase all data. For our producer's iPhone, it's a few easy steps in the settings menu. Erase all content button. There, there it is. is right there. And this should wipe it totally clean. That's right. Even with all this equipment we have, we won't be able to get anything back. So for an iPhone, remember that phrase, erase all content and settings. Other phones have similar options, and some might even have your data on a memory card inside the phone. So in that case, just take it out. By the way, we also tested a phone that was password protected, and I got to say, it was even hard for the experts to try to extract data from that. Oh, that's good to know. That's so good to remember. All right, great tips. Thank you so much, Thank you. Gio.